and I got started and forgot to pick up the camera. This is a recipe from Nani's cookbook. Ah! I'm the only one who will go through the undergrowth to find them. Da -da -da -da. Hey everybody. Um, so I am making stuffed peppers for dinner and I planned all day that I was going to film this and I got started and forgot to pick up the camera. So I will let you know what I've done so far. So the recipe calls for minute rice, which I used one time and the rice, like it wasn't soft enough. And anyway, we didn't have rice, uh, minute rice. So I just made some jasmine rice. So I'm gonna use that. And that's just ready and waiting for me. I cut the tops off of all the peppers, scooped all the insides and seeds out, um, boiled those for five minutes in salted water. And then I've salted the insides of the cups. And now I have the beef and the onion in here working on getting browned. So that is what I have done so far. And I will keep filming as I go. So the beef I got is like extra lean, uh, like organic beef. So it doesn't, it's not gonna have a lot of grease in it. So I did put a little scoop of bacon grease uh, in it for flavor and to help from sticking. And then I did salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. Uh, it is also worth mentioning that I am doubling this recipe because the original recipe only calls for three uh, peppers and that wouldn't have been enough because it's gonna be for me, mom, dad, and Madison. Um, so anyway, I've doubled the recipe. Also, this is a recipe from Nani's cookbook. Okay, so the ground beef is browned. And now I'm going to add the rice and stewed tomatoes and Worcestershire. And do I add the cheese yet? No, and it's, it says to salt and pepper to taste, um, but I salt and peppered the ground beef already. So I don't think I'll add any more because the water to the peppers was salted. Uh, plus it said to salt the insides of the peppers. So I did that too. So plus the rice is salted a little bit. So I think it's good and uh, good and seasoned. Also, it calls for stewed tomatoes, which I've never personally used before. Um, so they're weird. I think I might like chop them up into pieces. All right, I've got the tomatoes and Worcestershire sauce and now the rice. So. Ah! Oopsie. Um. So that happened, I dropped the spatula, Daryl got a teeny tiny snack. Now I don't have to get another spatula today, but whatever, anyways. So, like I said before, the original recipe calls for minute rice, which I did not use. Um, so at this juncture, it says to let it cook together for five minutes or until the rice is tender, which the rice is already tender. Um, but it's very liquidy, I guess, because of the tomatoes. I didn't drain them, maybe I should have, I don't know. Um, but so I'm just gonna let it cook a few minutes to cook the liquid down and then I will fill the cups. Okay, so it says after, ooh, after the rice is tender to add the cheese. So since the rice is tender, I'm gonna add the cheese now. I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off of that heat. <laughs> Turned it down, but um, I don't want it to get to where it's sticking. Anyway, it looks really good. So now I'm going to fill up the cups. Okay, here I go. Oh, whatever. So what it says in the recipe um, is to cook it until hot like 25 minutes or until hot or something like that um and it's all already cooked technically um 
I'll just put it in there for 25 minutes and maybe check it around uh, 15 or 20 just to make sure nothing's like burning on the bottom or whatever. It smells really good, I think. We made this one other time, didn't we? Is this the recipe we used? I don't know. I made it one time when I lived in Valdosta. Um, that's the only time I remember making it. See, this one's really tall and narrow. You can do it and have faith in you. Thank mm, you. Yeah. some of these. I just wanted to make sure I got them all full. So the cheese, there's already cheese in it? There's already cheese in it, but there, uh, cheese, more cheese goes on top. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, six of you. Panic. For Did you, like, slice anything off the bottom to, to, of the peppers to make them stand up in the pan or anything? No. Okay. It's just a uh, happy snacks. Although, after they boil, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but after they boiled, um, I left them in the pan for a long time because I was doing other stuff. I don't know if that does anything to it or not. Um, so there's four of us and there are six. One is absolutely enough for me. Yeah. So this one's gigantic. Stuffed peppers stand upright in baking dish, sprinkle with remaining cheese, which is gonna be four tablespoons. So I'll just sprinkle it however I want to. All right, does that look good to you? More? <laughs> For the record, she nodded her head. Finely shredded cheese um, would do a lot better for this. Okay. Okay. Now, in the oven for 25 minutes. Jeff Madison is a jack of many trades. Garlic squash. Yes, it smells so Yellow good. Yellow squash. I um, went back into the woods earlier today, and uh, if you know where to look, you can find these grown wild back there. Uh, I'm the only one who will go through the undergrowth to find them, but they're pretty tasty. Yeah, so pretty simple. Um, you cut them up into thin, maybe less than a quarter of an inch, maybe about a quarter of an inch slices. Um, I season them with salt, pepper, and garlic, and um, and then put them in a pan with already a melted layer of butter, probably a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, and then I'm cooking them on medium-high heat until they start to brown, which should be happening shortly. I mean, I see some of it already happening, but I'm trying to get more of them like that. And then once they're all st starting to turn brown, that's when they're done. You heard it here first. Thanks, Madison. You're welcome. Dun, 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 dun. We are putting the squash in a bowl. Squirrels to eat. Yes, that's the secret here. This is not for our <laughs> consumption. We cook squash for the squirrels. Not for Bubber and Doggies. Oh, wow. No doggy tripping. As you can see, Daryl is in the most convenient place he could find. He likes to do that. And so he's I just being real good and scared. What? Hold him up to you so I can. Oh, up to me. Well, I mean, tilt him a little so I can. I'm scared. I'm scared too, actually. Daryl would be so happy. He sure would. Mom, do you think this bread is ready? His tummy I wouldn't give be it happy. just a second. 
Da -da -da. They look delish, Miss Hannah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll go for it. I think that's washed right now, too. Too hot to taste. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. Let it's it very good. I like it a lot. Good. Open it yeah. up here. Master's really spreading good. his out to cool off. Master. It's a nice change of pace from our use. Good. Thanks for dinner, Miss Hannah Kay. No problem. Thanks for helping me dinner, Madison. What's all That's in the excellent. guts? Do you like it? Yes. Thank you, Hannah. Mm. What's all in the guts? Mm -mm. In the guts. Meat, onions, rice, tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce. Cheese. What kind of rice is it? Uh, Japanese. Good job, Hannah.